is approaching. Your kids mm -hmm. probably already thinking about what they want to find under the tree next month. My kids are, but a Central Texas nine-year-old is not. She's actually thinking about something else, how her toy is going to look when it's mass-produced. Chris Davis joins us this morning with her story. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Sally and John. So we set up a little experiment for you this morning. We turned on this light about 20, 25 minutes ago just to see what we would get. Not exactly a swarm of bugs here this morning, but we have had a few come and go, maybe stopping by for a light snack. Huh? All right. Well, anyway, so this Marble Falls fourth grader that you're about to meet, she saw this, how light attracts bugs like that, and she thought, you know what? I'm going to make something with this. Sometimes the best way to learn is by doing. The bugs can go in by themselves, or you could, like, put them in. Emma Turner was learning while doing kid stuff, collecting bugs. That's where she got the idea for her invention. And you can watch the bugs through the magnifying glass, and then when it gets dark, you turn the light on, and it projects the bugs onto the wall. She built the prototype for what she calls the buggy light with her grandpa. And then the front might have been the hardest part because we had to put the magnifying glass in. Emma sent it to the Kid Venter contest from Smart Brain Toys and won. They're going to make her toy. And I get royalties off of when my toy is sold. Plus the scholarship. So yes, we're, that's definitely the part mom and dad are the most excited about. Excited? but not surprised. Problem solve as you build. Students at Spicewood Elementary have their own maker space. They can build, take apart, and experiment every week. So what do you need to do to make it better? This is where Emma learned about the contest. So this is like all the stuff that we use for like hammering and drilling. And it gave her a taste for inventing. She's in no rush to get rid of it. You never know what's going to come out of that brain of hers. <laughs> Just look at what you have around you and kind of appreciate it and you can come up with cool ideas. And by the way, a second student at that same school also made it into the top seven out of about 120 students from around the country who submitted their designs. That student did not make it into the finals. But Emma is also getting a free trip to New York in February for the uh, American International Toy Fair. That's where she's going to present her toy, the final product that this company manufactures. Then you can start buying the buggy light probably sometime next fall. We'll send it back to you. I love it, Chris. Thank you. A light snack. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Took me a while, but I got it. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, that makerspace <laughs> that Chris was talking about was funded through a grant from the Marble Falls Education Foundation. That group uses private donations to fund projects around the district. The space at Spicewood cost about $5,000. The grant came through in the spring, and it's open this school year. Is so 